Recently, Magnus Parsmo, also known as the Magnus, sent me a care package from Sweden. He referred to it as a Swedish heritage package, and it actually was pretty special to me because my heritage is Swedish. And what he sent was a huge box full of almost 17 pounds worth of Swedish foods and snacks. I guess a lot of uh, typical Swedish kind of things that he thought I'd like to check out. And I'm definitely planning on making some videos of some of that stuff. Probably not all of it, just because it's so much, but there's a few things I definitely want to check out on camera. And this will be the first video of this stuff, mainly because I wanted to get this one out before Christmas. Because uh, these are three, I guess, pretty typical Swedish Christmas treats. Yulmust is a Swedish soft drink. It's uh, kind of like a soda, um, not exactly, but sort of along the lines of, uh, I guess, cola or uh, root beer. Uh, from what I read, it's a very popular drink around Christmas time, which is what the, the Yule means. It means Christmas. Uh, I can see there's Yule in all three of these products here. And I guess during the Christmas season, it actually outsells Coca-Cola by a wide margin. And apparently there's many different companies that make Yulmust. Uh, these, I believe, are the two biggest ones. From what Magnus said, these are, I'm not sure which order, but these are the Coca-Cola and the Pepsi of Yulmust in Sweden. So what we're going to do is we're actually not only going to taste this, we're going to do a taste test of these two brands and see if I can detect any difference. I've had Yulmust once before, and this few years ago, and I don't really remember too much about it. I remember it was a little bit different, and um, I can't even remember if I really liked it or not, but I'm going to try it again. And since we're here and it's uh, Christmas time, we're also going to take a look at this Yule scum. And this is a marshmallow candy. It's basically a little marshmallow Santas. Uh, the Yule Must was introduced, I believe, in around 1910, and it's become a very traditional Swedish uh, Christmas drink. Not really long, historically speaking, as far as how old Sweden is, but um, over 100 years anyway. And the Yulskum apparently goes back to uh, 1930 was when they first started making the Santa, I guess this company here, Cloetta, started making the Marshmallow Santas. And the Yulskum itself, the name, I guess, it was more from the 1960s. So this is a, a pretty long tradition, too. So as you can see, it's these little Marshmallow Santas. I guess they, um, they have a strawberry flavor. That's what the pink is. And uh, it's kind of a funny name for somebody who's not a, a speaker of Swedish. Yulskum. Kind of looks like Yulskum. And I believe the scum means foam. But it, we would be, in the U.S., we'd be more likely to call it uh, marshmallow. But you can see it actually has Santa on it, so this is definitely a Christmas thing. So the first thing I want to do is crack open these bottles of Yule Mist. And we might as well use uh, Ikea glasses to make, keep the Swedish thing going. And uh, let's uh, check these out. Um, I'm going to put a link below uh, for some more information, because I don't really know a ton about this. But uh, see, this is, uh, what is this, Nygarda? It's uh, one of the companies, and this one is, that's a nice one, Apothecarnes. Kind of reminds me of Apothecary, which isn't really what you think of as a, a fun drink. But uh, I guess it's a carbonated beverage, and let's uh, check it out. Yep, definitely carbonated. Here are the bubbles. I also think it's kind of funny that these are um, two competing brands, but they use the exact same bottle and the same, the same cap, obviously with their own company logo on it. Yeah, let's uh, take a smell of that. Yeah, I think I heard there's some malt and hops in here, and I think I'm getting a little bit of that. It does smell a little bit like a cola, a soda kind of a thing. Not exactly. Pour it in the glass, it definitely looks like a, a cola. I might as well go ahead and open the Apothecarnes Yulmus too, take a look at that label. There's a little, I don't know if it's a little elf or a little uh, Tompton or something. I guess I'll compare the smell first. They smell the same. Uh, another interesting thing that I, I found uh, when I'm looking these up is that although there's a bunch of different manufacturers, and these are probably the two biggest ones, they actually use the exact same syrup. The syrup comes from one company, the only company that makes it, and they keep the uh, recipe a secret. So they use the exact same syrup, they buy it from the same company, but then they do their own little thing to make, uh, make it their own. You know what, this one actually is smelling a little bit more like Coke, or cola in general. I guess there is a little bit of a difference. Um, I guess the proof's gonna be in the taste. Let's try this out. It's really not bad. You almost think something uh, something that's like a uh, a foreign specialty is going to be weird. 
And it was a little bit different. It doesn't does has a little bit of that hoppiness, uh, maltiness kind of a kind of a thing that you don't really get in a, in a U.S. soda like a Coke or a Pepsi or uh, or a root beer, which it does have. It doesn't taste like root beer, but it's uh, kind of like a cross between Coke and root beer. You get that carbonation, so you know you're drinking a soda, which is kind of a familiar thing. It's really not. It's not bad at all. I thought it was a little bit weirder the first time I tried it. Maybe it was the uh, setting I was in. I'm going to try a direct comparison with the Apotecarnis. Very similar. This one's a little bit smoother. This one has a slight bit more of a, a sharpness to it. Almost like it has more carbonation. But very similar. And you know what they kind of remind me of? Despite the carbonation, the taste is kind of like um, a, a somewhat flat soda, like a flat Coca-Cola. And even though these are chilled, I don't know if you've ever had warm Coke, and it's it's not as good as when it's nice and cold. This kind of tastes like warm and slightly flat cola. Uh, I'm not saying it's not the bad about it, it's obviously the way it's meant to taste. It's not meant to taste like flat cola, it's meant to taste like Yulmust, and it does. They're both... Uh, both pretty tasty. And we're gonna try some Yulskum. My daughters are gonna want to try these too, so save some for them. And we have a little Santa. Pretty soft. It's got kind of like a, uh, almost like a coating on the outside, uh, which you would kind of expect being in a, in a package that it would. Uh, Kind of harden on the outside a little bit. It's a very elasticy. I can smell that when I pull it. I can actually smell that strawberry taste that they're talking about. Wow, that's uh, extremely chewy. It's not like a marshmallow you get out of a bag of marshmallows, but you know, kind of typical of a lot of marshmallow candies. And it's pretty tasty. Despite being soft, it's kind of hard on the teeth because you really have to snap it and then chew down on it pretty good. But the flavor is good. It's basically just, um, I'm really just getting a mild uh, candy strawberry sort of a flavor. Nothing really, uh, nothing, nothing else really in there. Like a, any sort of a other marshmallow sort of taste to it. But they're good. And it's kind of, it's pretty fun to try out something that's a typical Swedish traditional kind of a holiday thing. So, with that said, um, the Ulmus is pretty good. I don't know if I drink it on a regular basis, and I'm not sure which brand I would pick. It's kind of up in the air. Maybe try one one year, the other one the next year or something. But uh, it's something that would be kind of fun to try out for, just have for, for uh, Christmas time. Which is when it's generally generally drunk in Sweden. I guess they also have it um, around Easter, but that's really the only time you see these even there. If you're in the U.S., this stuff is probably pretty hard to find. I know you can find it at IKEA, and there's a lot of IKEAs around, and probably some specialty stores that sell a lot of international foods. But I guess that's really all I have to say about these things. The Yulmist was originally introduced as a non-alcoholic option for uh, people who didn't want to drink beer or for for kids, uh, beer or other alcoholic drinks. So I guess I'll close by saying, God Yule and skull. And thank you again to the Magnus. Is it good? Yeah. I don't want to puke. I don't know. Oh, I think I've tried... Oh, they kind of like peanuts. Those peanut things. I might break my tooth. <laughs> Careful. Don't break your teeth. Don't break your teeth. It's good? Mm -hmm. I love it. What do you think, Bo? Kind of good. What? Is it good? Is it kind of good? You didn't look too good. I said I love it. You said you love it? I didn't hear that. Is it good? Yeah. You guys should really try it. It's really good. Mm.